speaking the truth. No, I'm just a pussy. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Are you okay? What? Besides this tornado, the hole in my leg, not to mention the fact that I might die on the floor of a diner, and you're the last person I could see. You know what? I'm cool. Jesus. And I bet that thief Chloe and you didn't find Rachel. Right? Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. Fuck you, Max. No. No way. She left town. She's gone. Now, how do you know, huh? How? All of our clues led us to my professor, Mark Jefferson. He had this creepy photo torture chamber. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck! I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Papadou hated him! You saw... You saw Rachel? Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson and he... He killed her. How? Hmm. How did he kill her? He used some drug and... Gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's dead. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. Neither would Chloe. And I knew Chloe and her were... close. And I was jealous, but, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. on the people here. Come on, Max. Let's talk over here and give Frank some rest and space. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David are holed up someplace safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. And if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry. And I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me. 
trying to keep my family together again. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? David saved my life from the storm. He means well, even if he doesn't know how to show it. But this has to be your choice. I'm glad David was there for you, but I don't always like his attitude. And honestly, I don't think I can forgive him for hitting Chloe. If it happens once, it could happen again. I... I understand. I'm used to my life being hard. Chloe had to find out way too early. And I, I don't think we need David around to keep reminding us. You're right, Max. I think I'm making my choice now. Max, do you... Do you think that... I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I, I think that the storm started... Everything started when I found out I could rewind time. There's no way this is just a coincidence, right? Max, not only the storm, but the eclipse, the birds, the whales, everything. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Uh, what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Dead. History which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction, even in the environment. You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I, I haven't told anybody else Except for Chloe, and... And she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and... And you've always treated me like a person. Not... Not a beta nerd. I... I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but... After this week... I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. 
but I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Come on, Joyce. Focus on the people here. Hey. Be careful out there. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm gonna make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe! Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. connected to Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait! Listen! I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once! Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Oh, man, she just won't listen. I better rewind and do over. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Chloe, you can't get revenge if you're dead. It doesn't matter. I have to make Nathan pay for what he did to Rachel. And I know you've got my back. Chloe! Chloe knows I have this power. She has to believe me now. Excuse me, I... Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because... Well, you... Chloe... Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Um, Max, I'm... I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I... Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No. Not this way. Chloe, I, I can't keep fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. 
I know how this is gonna turn out, and I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to... end your life. But Chloe... There was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline. To see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I... I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but... Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. <laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And you traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously to myself. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. 
could not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Max. <laughs> 